Welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at Super Machine versus AI SEO art. We're just going to kind of put them head to head and I'm going to spend most of my time just doing prompts with both of them and seeing exactly what they each come up with and then just kind of letting you see that uh, it's going to I'm kind of doing this on the fly. So nothing scripted or anything like that. So we're just going to kind of have some fun and create some art uh, with artificial intelligence together. Um, and then if there's anything that I noticed during the two that stands out, uh, then I'll point those out as well. So I'm going to be looking at Super Machine and AI SEO art, which are artificial intelligence, image and art creation uh, software. And these both recently within the last uh, four weeks or so have um, launched on AppSumo. You can currently get lifetime deals to both of them. Uh, pricing wise, Super Machine has a $69 uh, entry level to get in, and that $69 will get you 1,000 images. I'll come over here real quick. It'll get you 1,000 images credits uh, per month, and of course, you get all this other stuff. They have an uh, image enhan enhancer and upscaler, uh, but that does cost extra credits, um, and you can stack this uh, up to five times so you can. Um, get up to 5,000 images uh, per month. Um, another one uh, important uh, thing to note is that <clears throat> this deal is non-refundable on Super Machine. So if you go and purchase it, you just need to be willing to kind of test $69 out uh, in your business or, um, you know, don't don't get too attached to this stuff. Um, I, I just went ahead and just bought it. I kind of just uh, went based off of they do have a lot of reviews and it's over four stars so you're you're going to get at least a solid piece of software um, one time sixty nine dollars and you're helping support them to build and grow uh, they seem to be very responsive as well so I like that as far as um, answering questions uh, they're answering right uh, away so this is what you want to see on AppSumo you want to see that the um, owner and creator of the software is answering like crazy and they are answering every question right here. So I'm going to give them props for support. Um, they're answering everything. We can even go into reviews and look at all the different reviews in here as well. So um, looking, looking pretty good here. Okay. And then they have also given three updates already uh, after launching and all the different updates that they're doing um, and so forth. You can also see their roadmap. I'll open that up real quick. And here's their roadmap. I actually didn't go over their roadmap uh, in their video, so that's kind of good that I'm going over this now. So under consideration, remove background. That is awesome. Removing the background, especially if you're trying to sell this or uh, put it into a, a, any do anything else with the image, which most of us would be uh, going and trying to find another background and to put that on there, uh, to put the image that you create in Super Machine on another uh, background or image would be really, really cool. So remove background. Um, looks like they just have a lot. So you're wel welcome to go to the page and go click this open and check it out. But it looks like they have their... Uh, um, they have a lot of things they're doing. Look at uh, in development. They've got bug upscaling, get file issue, noise reduction, um, more happy emotions listed, pre-built custom models, uh, copy button on the improved prompt. Uh, uh, looks like adding a team member, bulk download um, images uh, to usable file names, user admin dashboard. Um, just their, their private testing things. They have different things planned. It looks like they're going to launch an affiliate program. That's cool. Um, pa uh, Pavly integration, Zapier integration, um, high res image output, uh, improvement for that. So really cool. Change the UI to be user friendly. Um, that's interesting. That's planned. Um, I actually think that the UI is just fine. Everything is all in one spot. So, but that's the roadmap there. Um, let's go and uh, talk about, um, AI SEO art real fast. So it's a $59 entry and uh, there's 27 reviews. It's averaging about the same uh, score, about a 4.2 score as well. And we can go through and look at some of the different things. So with $59, you're going to get 800 credits per month. Uh, and let's see, this plan is not stackable. So this one is not stackable. You can only get the $59 plan on this one. So um, so anyway, pretty solid over here as well. Just go log in and um, go just do a quick glance at the roadmap over here since I just did that for Super Machine. Uh, we've got <clears throat> some different things uh, over here. We have all this over here that's been shipped. There's not as much in development over here. 
uh, with the roadmap, but you're welcome to pause the video and look at what they've got going on over here as well. So let's go in and actually start looking at um, some different, um, I'm going to go and see if I can open this up. I'm going to copy this and you can see this high um, res image uh, looks really, um, just really uh, 3D looking um look at they have 8k right here so uh, i want to actually go and challenge ai seo art real fast and i'm not really sure like that's the part right here where i'm not really sure which one to select so we'll just keep it on concept art for fun right here and let's see here just uh, paste that in and we're just going to generate in 512 uh, pixels for now um, so here's what it came up with um, it's kind of interesting, like right here, um, <laughs> some of the, some of the stuff that AI, AI, um, art comes up with is just crazy. Like this is cool. Look at that. That is just insane right here. So it is fun to, um, to go and see what other people, this is what other people have created with the software. Um, you just have to keep trying and you can get something that is really, really unique. Um, that is just crazy. If you went and posted this somewhere to actually sell, like, you know, it, it's something that no one has ever seen before. Like that one right there. That's pretty cool. When we come back over here, um, there's kind of a, a leg out here kind of doesn't know where uh, this leg kind of comes out of nowhere right there. But other than that, I think it did a pretty uh, good job right there. I'm going to go ahead and just generate one more time. I think the speed of both of them is um, is very fast. I think AI SEO art um, is just a little bit faster. So here's one. We'll click it three times on this one right here just to see what it kind of comes up with. And then um, we'll look at the pixels. So you've got very, very sm uh, only three options over here. And in Super Machine, um, we're going to get more options for the pixels, although they don't have the landscape uh, appear, the 1024 pixels uh, fixed. Um, but they have a lot more options um, over here in Super Machine. Um, so I'm going to go over ahead and we already have. OK, I'm going to throw this one in here and I'm going to make sure that nothing else is really that's drawing style. I think I want to just um, not have anything selected and just push generate. And I believe I can generate um, more than one at a time. So I just click that three times and you can see that they're all three. Uh, generating and so that's a little bit different um, that you're able to generate as many at the same time as you want with super machine uh, so i think that that's a little bit of a leg up as well um, it looks like over in ai seo art you can only push the button and then you can't push it again while this one is uh, rendering so um, so that's just something to kind of note this one wouldn't be usable because it well i mean it kind of looks like those could be like almost symbols a really cool image, but I'm not really sure if those markings would work. Um, something similar over here. That's a lot better, though. I'm just going to look at these ones right here. So you guys can kind of do the, um, you know, be, be the judge on this one. So those are the four that we were able to get this. I still think this one was the best image, but we did get some really good ones right here. We go into AI SEO art and let's go. Um, we'll go over to where is it at? We generated images over here and then we can see the ones that we just generated um, right here and right there and right there and right there. Okay. On that one, uh, for my, for, for me and my taste, I would say super machine one on that one. I think it created just a higher quality, um, realistic, um, 4k, 8k type right there. So, uh, I want to, uh, go and grab this one now because this is a unique, uh, prompt right here. And I want to challenge, AI SEO art and see if it can do that. So we're going to come back over here. So we're in concept art before I go to concept art. Let's be fair. I forgot to switch this over to a couple different ones. Okay. So let's try the same exact prompt. Just, just uh, on the lion one. It actually is coming up with a little, uh, a better one right there under um, cinematic. There we go. Okay. So there's some really cool ones. I mean, look at the, um, the shadow from the sun, coming from the uh, opposite direction and then his hair sticking up and you can actually see and then the eyes are great too. So that one looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to do one more. So cinematic seems to really do the trick. This one goes with the bottom portion of the lion. Um, so I'm going to go and just test a couple more of these out because I don't think I was being fair. Um, 
as far as like I had something specific uh, selected. Wallpaper, no. Um, let's just see what it comes up with the graphic design. Uh, that's cool. Like someone kind of sketched this or um, drew it. Video games, I think, kind of uh, does more of a uh, 2D type effect, I think. Um, okay, I'll just go with photography and see what happens on this one. So it doesn't seem like it changes much between the between these anyways, right? I think uh, cine, cinematic and concept art um, seem to do the trick the most in AI SEO art. And so there you go. Okay, so let's go and throw this one in here, this uh, new one that I just copied, and let's generate that real quick. All right, so concept art, it's on the right track. Um, let's just keep going. I'm gonna do a couple of these, and then I wanna switch it over to maybe uh, cinematic, and then I'm gonna go with uh, graphic design, possibly. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll come back over to the generated images. And uh, while I'm under generated images, there's not really a way, I have all selected right here, but there's not really a way. You would think that the newest ones that we created would go up to the top right here, and that's not really what's happening. And um, and then you have like a couple missing right here. So um, there's a little clunkiness uh, on the UI um, for AI SEO art uh, that, uh, I mean, I guess that's the way they have it is, is four on the top and then and then it's intentionally blank right here. So that's just kind of what I'm seeing. But I'm not seeing those last ones that we created. Um, it looks like they're supposed to be up at the top. They should be. Okay, all right, I ref refreshed. And they are the latest ones you are doing seem to come to the top. Okay, so we have these three right here. And I want to go back into Super Machine. And let's uh, create some with that same text stream here. And I don't have anything else uh, selected. But I'm going to just do one. And then we're going to go in and maybe do some different, select some different things right here. Okay. So like I'm going to just select doodle for fun. And then um, I'm going to take doodle off, but then I'm going to try some different stuff here. Let's go with uh, angry and excited. I don't know how more horrifying we can make it. So let's try that and generate. All right. So here are the ones that it's coming up with right here. And let me do, let me see if I can do kind of a side by side. Okay, so the one on the top is Super Machine. <clears throat> the one, these on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So five of these, these are all AI SEO art, and the top is Super Machine. So just want to kind of look, I'm going to pause and just kind of look at both of them. And you guys can pause the video or just kind of uh, check it out as well. Uh, nothing stands out to me. We put the exact same prompts into both engines, and we got similar product. Uh, if you look up here like this, uh, the face is uh, pretty far back and kind of distorted a little bit back there. And then the same thing happens over here. Uh, you know, this one actually came out uh, more of a close up and looks pretty cool. Um, the lions are very similar as well. So like this one and this one. So, I mean, honestly, we're just looking at this. I'm not an artist. Um, I can't, I couldn't look at this from a technical uh, standpoint and be, I guess it's, it's too subjective, right? So, um, looking at this, uh, I think it, both engines work about this, about the same. I think that they're using the same technology in order to get these uh, results. <clears throat> so I, from the exact, from the quality of, uh, output that is produced, um, from what I'm seeing, I think that they're both about the same. I mean, that's just straight up what we're getting. Um, now, the best part is is for me to go and basically, um, if there's going to be anything that separates um, this so these softwares, it's going to be the user interface and the other different things that you can do inside the softwares, okay? So we come back over here to Super Machine real quick. Um, I think that they do have a lot more to offer with sizes. So I think that they win on that um, standpoint for sure. Um, and honestly, I think that the uh, UI, even though that Super Machine is going to um, be improving this, um, it's all just kind of on one page, but I think that it, it works, right? And you have um, a little bit easier way to select. You have a lot more options in here. Uh, they've, they've gone... Um, you know, taking it um, a few steps more than uh, AI SEO. 
uh, for the uh, different p tools that you can pull from here, um, all these different options. Um, I really like this art option, style of artist. I mean, look at this huge community of art that you can go ahead and get as well. So I think that that is really uh, kind of a game changer. Um, definitely separates the super machine in that way from um, AI SEO art. Um, so, you know, they both have a good folder system. When I come through here and look at recent creations, it's just a way easier to look um, at your creations that you've just created all in. They're a little bit smaller, but I like that. And then you can just kind of look through everything. Um, so I think that this is just sleeker, just, uh, you know, and, and I apologize. I am sure that uh, the owner of um, AI SEO art is maybe watching. Uh, I think they're both great tools. Uh, I, I really do. And I wouldn't say that, um, but um they're, they're both really good tools. What can I say? Um, there's some things in here that I really like, like AI SEO art wins because they were the first to get do the image reversal. We can paste a URL or upload an image here, and then it completely will create an image based off of that, right? Um, there's their folder system right there. Um, I think that uh, AI SEO art needs to just uh, find more ways to do, to help out with the um, prompt creation. And then here is, um, you know, basically, um, so I think the community images uh, portion, I think that um, I think AI SEO art wins with community images and it uh, kind of wins with um, the image reversal tool. Um, but Super Machine, I think that there it's a little easier to find everything. It's all here in one spot. Uh, they haven't came up with this tool yet. The image to uh, image tool, um, they have the prompt, um, the prompt helper right here. And then there's also the autocomplete prompt helper right here with AI SEO art. So a lot of stuff they both are doing the same um, with, right? And then here's their kind of community post, which um, is, you know, you, it is similar. They both have a community post type where you can get images from the rest of the communities that made them. But, you know, overall, um, I think it, if we just put both of them head to head right here, super machine, and AI SEO art, it's pretty much too close to call. And I think that that's fair to say. It's it's literally um, probably preference on UI and the tools that I just kind of went over because the results that you're going to get are um, <laughs> are the are the same. I mean, they're both very. I think that it's pretty high quality for a uh, for early in the game, early technology this AI art stuff. So um, I think the quality is there for both tools. I'm going to get the similar results from both tools. Um, I just give the edge to tools and UI to super machine just a little bit. Pricing is uh, very similar, but a uh, super machine allows you to stack up to 5,000 images per month, but they don't have a refund policy, right? So, I mean, when you merge everything together, it really is kind of a clo too close to call. I, I don't think you can go wrong with either tool. So that's, that is my conclusion. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to LearnWire if you're not already, uh, so you can get more uh, in-depth deep dives uh, into software on AppSumo. Um, and I will see you in the next video.